Hey, this is Seth with Electric, and today we're looking at the power system of the Silverado EV. And I'm here with Chris Hamilton Hi. from Chevy, who's going to show us a little bit about it. Yeah, so up front we have part of our power ba off board power base capabilities. We have a 120 20 amp in the front, so you can power accessories while you're driving. And, and tools theoretically while you're while you're right. driving yep. around while you're driving the outlets the onboard outlets are active we have an additional app that will allow you to run them when the truck is off for an extended period of time that's great so let's let's pull around here and you know this is some of the stuff that we can charge here um it's like a, a work site example and then kind of the the bigger stuff is here in the back so Let's start over here. Um, we've got three outlets. Uh, it looks like two 110s on each of the left two, and then a 240 in the middle there. Correct. So we have four 120 20 amps in total on the left two banks, and then we have a 240 30 amp on the right bank. Additionally, we passed one in the center console. That's another 120 right. 20 amp. Okay. So you have seven outlets in total. 7.2 kilowatts of offboard power capability that we can run through that system. Right, but wait, there's more. I see this thing that's coming out of the charge board. Correct. So that's, what is that? So this is our accessory power bar. There's several different configurations that we'll have. You can do up to three kilowatts of additional offboard power out of the charge board into additional outlets. This one happens to have four 110, 20 amps. What other configurations are available? Those configurations we're still working on. Those okay. will come out and be announced and pricing and all that. I heard somebody talking about a uh, one, uh, 110 by 30 amp. Uh, what is that, like an RV plug or something? Yep. yep, so that's another configuration that we're working on. Okay. Um, last night, using this same truck, same setup, it's been running all week. We ran the food trucks at the event. That's right. Based on the power base and based on one of these, which was using the 110 30 amp. Okay, and then, so <clears throat> tell me about the thinking here. All together, you can put out around 10.2 uh, kilowatts. Why 10.2 and not, you know, this thing can put out 400 kilowatts of power. Yeah. So 10 seems a little bit arbitrary. What's... So it's honestly a lot of it using it, and uh -huh. I more or less live with the truck at this point. Using these systems, I haven't reached the capacity. Right. Using table saws and chop saws at the same time, running a compressor, running a food truck. We're the last five days or four days on this truck, we've dropped five percent of the battery utilizing just the power base, and we haven't reached the capacity yet. Yeah, I mean it's it's kind of crazy to think about. There's actually 200 kilowatt hours, um, and you know a typical house will kind of idle at one or two kilowatts. So you're talking about. Yep you know, 100 or 200 hours of, of home yeah, backup. There's a lot of capacity to it. You don't realize 10.2 sounds like it's not a lot, but you don't realize how much you can actually do with 10.2. Yeah, and so um, maybe we should talk a little bit about, <clears throat> a little bit. So you have a, it's kind of a, a generator plug with the round circular thing here. Um, so that that's the same plug, it's kind of a, a you, you plug it in and turn it yep. as a, a generator. Yep. And Same common generator, 30 amps. So like <clears throat> out of the box with just what comes standard, you basically have a generator for a, a house here. Like you could just plug this, you know, you have a generator at your house already. You don't want to use that anymore. You can trash that and use your, yep. your truck. So there's, there's some setup involved to do it with your house. We have the vehicle to home system that's coming. Mm -hmm. And then that will be more of a seamless transition if you wish to do that, plug your truck in and power your house from there. Yeah, and that'll come out of the, the charger port. Correct. So this this will output three kilowatts here. And that'll- so this, It'll output three kilowatts to the accessory power bar. But this particular vehicle will actually go higher if you have a different accessory bar? So the accessory power bar is limited to three kilowatts. Uh -huh. We have options like the vehicle to vehicle charging uh -huh. that will go up to six kilowatts. Okay. And then the vehicle home system, we haven't released the specs on yet, but that's coming very soon. And then that will have varying capabilities as well. And now, you know, it's safe to assume it's more than six, right? Right. You could do the math. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's fantastic. And, uh, you know, I think the, the, the end game is that you plug it in once and 
you know, there's a, a system that when your house goes down, you, you basically don't even lose a cycle and, yeah. and your, your lights may flicker or something, but you really, like your computers will stay on and, and yeah. your refrigerator doesn't have to reboot and all those things. And running, running things off of the truck, it's not like a normal generator where you can get those dips and you can see the lighting dim. Right. It's constant. Right. It's solid, it's seamless. Yeah, everybody who's well. who's backed up their house, and including Nicole, mm -hmm. who who uh, kind of runs the program, uh, you know, she was over the moon about how yes. uh, her house was just it just felt like it was yeah, a normal was time. Four a.m. ice storm. Yeah, yep. and that was a prototype, so it wasn't yes. even. You yeah, know. that was that was one of our early test vehicles. So you know, a kind of question that comes up a lot is like, why doesn't every uh, electric vehicle have some kind of system like this maybe not as robust as 10 kilowatts but like you know like okay so, you know a chevy bolt I, I know that's a discontinued car but like it doesn't seem like rocket science to to put a system like this in there is there a lot of like ul listing stuff is there a lot of like red tape that makes this difficult or is it maybe consumers didn't even know it existed that didn't want it a lot of it's now the old team platform we okay. can take that we can adapt to it think of more like what the old team platform can do for you mm -hmm. so we have the whole new architecture of this truck everything's changed geometry suspension to fit that package and then we can adapt it to work for us okay so now we're able to take the highest range in a full-size truck with features like this for the job site right and really expand those capabilities yeah i mean you know the, the other vehicles on the market your competitors are about 50% less uh, you know, kilowatt hour battery packs. So that means this thing can last longer on the job site, even though, you yep. know, yep. we're talking days and not, yeah. not hours. Well, and if that is a concern, and say you get to a job site with a little bit less than, you know, full capacity, we can set the power base to turn off either on a time limit or on state of charge. Right. So if you know you need 20% to get back home, mm -hmm. you can have it shut off at 20%. It'll run until you reach that point. With how much, with how little the system actually uses power-wise, I mean, with such the high range, you don't. It's not really something you have to worry about. Yeah, I mean, even <clears throat> even at full 10 kilowatt yeah. output, a a fully charged car will go 20 hours. That's yeah. that's pretty impressive. Yeah. It, it's actually a little bit crazy. So you know, the obvious question is like, well, could we have like a miniature version of this? You know on every ev so like back there we see uh the equinox which is a you know a very early prototype that doesn't even work but i think that um blazer ss like is that something we should expect to see in the future and in, in more of their vehicles they're always looking at the different aspects of the vehicles what accessories we can carry between what the market wants okay all right well this has been fantastic thank you very much chris and we'll see you later